stop. Drop. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Illegal Gaming Chop Shop. I'm here with Zenrod. Oh. Uh, it's a shame that this has one of the greatest intros for any video series that we do because it rhymes so well. <laughs> and <laughs> it's so predicated in us playing new games. <clears throat> it makes it uh, uh, harder to record new stuff. But I digress because today, Zenrod, we finally found a game we're both playing. Absolutely, and God, I play it just nonstop, just constantly. I have already almost uh, lost one of my log logins to Legends because I was too busy. <laughs> uh, the game of the the hour is, of course, Teppin. Which now I'm interrupting the video. Uh, what are you? Talk about Teppin. We should also be playing Teppin against one another. Well, that's well, that's two separate things. Remember how I said like uh, I needed this to be up early so I can make my deadline. <laughs> The Tepid video is obviously being planned. <laughs> I just can't. <laughs> Don't worry. People will see footage of us playing Tepid together. We're actually going to record that right after this. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Don't worry. You're going to get your fix in. <laughs> You're going to get to play. <laughs> play some fucking Tepid already. Yes. So for people who don't know, Tepin is the brand new card game by but it's by Capcom and Gung Ho. Is it both of them together? Uh, Capcom is the publisher. Gung Ho is the uh, developer. Okay, so they're doing the brunt work of it, and it is a card game that mixes together, uh, just like I guess the closest parable is Hearthstone. From what I've seen, I've seen at least one person try and say it was kind of like Magic, but it's too fast to be like Magic. Yeah, it, yeah, magic doesn't really work in my opinion. Um, no, not not in terms of like the 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 compare. They're both good honestly. Card it doesn't games. really play like anything. <laughs> it's it's its own thing, really. Yeah, it's a uh, it's an action based card game. So usually with card games, there's a lot of like, uh, especially like if you let's take Yu Gi Oh. Everyone who's listening to this, chances are has played Yu Gi Oh. You have your turn, you set your stuff down, and then it's your opponent's turn. And then depending on what they have, you take a long ass time to get anything done. Right? Teppin is all one hundred percent. The clock is going. You got five minutes. You better get this shit done right now. <laughs> Yeah, and that's what I love about Teppin is that you're, there's no turns. You're never just sitting around bored. You're no. always playing. And it's uh, it's a very fast pace, which is a very welcome change for anyone, especially for someone like me. Especially if you've been playing some Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh! can kind of get that way. Usually Yu-Gi-Oh! games end in one or two turns that it's not big a deal. But as someone who's been playing a lot of Magic the Gathering Arena, where matches could take up to an hour... Uh, because a lot of it is just waiting for the enemy to do something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, having a fast-paced card game in your life is like a godsend. Uh, no, it's like, I, I was expecting it to be, like, kind of gimmickly okay. Yeah. Uh, it's so good. It's so good. And I, I'm, I don't even know why it's, like, that good. I could talk about it for ages. We could. Let so, you game for a really long time. Mm -hmm. So something similar to Hearthstone is also that there are starting characters. And I feel like they're going to be adding more characters, right? They have to be, yeah. Yeah, they have to be. It kind of feels that way. But each character is like jam-packed with like... Cause, okay, so we got... Uh, it's like, I'm pretty sure I know them by heart. It is Ryu. It is uh, Rathalos. It is Chun-Li. It is Mega Man X. It is Nergagante. It is Wesker. It is uh, Morgan and it's Dante. Those are the characters. Correct. And each character has three unique, like, I, I want to call them leader skills, but they're not, I guess. It's basically they, hero power from Hearthstone, but you get three to choose from instead of just one. Yes, and your level one is the one everyone starts with. And then you, you get more accustomed to the character, like, you get um, different abilities, like uh, Ryu's is the starting Hadouken, which is like seven, seven damage to one enemy. And then later on, you get, like, other abilities. And then, yeah, and so everyone basically has, like, so that it's not only that if you're playing a character, you also have the ability of, like, getting, I guess, three other abilities, which is really nice. It's a lot more depth than I expected from it <laughs> from the get-go. Absolutely. So it ends and up what I like about it is, like, as well, when it comes to deck building, is that there's limitations on how many colors you can have in your deck. But you can have multiples. There's not, like... 
that and then your character, like in Hearthstone, where, say, you can play the general set cards and the mage cards if you play mage. Mm -hmm. uh, you can play, like, and green class cards, and then it ends up being one of the best decks in the game, despite the MP slash. So, like, if you have all one color, you have ten. You can get... If you have two colors, it goes down to five mana. Huh. It goes to three mana if you have three colors, but I don't know why you'd ever run three colors, so... Yeah, so I've been... Because I'm still starting on in the game, I've been running a lot of just mono color, so I had no idea that you could even... I knew you could run two, but I didn't understand, like, what was the, you know, what's the subset? What's the damage you take for running two colors? So it ends up being, like, a mana, like, deficit or Your something? Your mana is cut in half for every additional color that you add. Interesting. So that means you have a starting, you can only get up to five is the idea? Correct. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. And that ends up working fine because the, the, the two main uh, decks that you use it which is the green and the um black have a bunch of good one to one to five monsters yeah, really doesn't... cheap yeah you can very easily make a top tier deck that doesn't go over five mana uh, yeah it's see that's something that i wasn't even thinking of at the time but it's i i definitely plan to experiment it more once i get to the higher ranks the difference between our play level is going to be shown when we do that uh card game match and you just completely obliterate me because i'm barely making my way up to e so I'm still in very early... I don't know, you play a character that, like, nobody else plays, so I don't have a lot of experience against them? Uh, then, you know, that's true. I play uh, Morgan, which is more focused around uh, halting and stalling the game. She's the only character that really halts and stalls the game, and you can really feel like they specifically didn't give that deck a AoE halt because they were afraid of slowing the game down too much. So she yep, only, absolutely. So, so she only has it on her skill one and so that ends up being that um it would be very useful if i had an aoe halt because i feel like that's the one thing that's really holding me back from saying this deck could easily go up against some of the top decks but without an aoe halt it's very hard to actually deal with some of the things that like something like a rio can do just the constant board pressure is just so much that it's hard to do anything <laughs> yeah rio is pretty crazy uh the best characters are rio and nergigante right now like straight up yeah, I have not fought a Nergigante, but I've... Uh, according, so the, we run a... The, someone runs a Teppin chat that I was added to, and you just showed your Nergigante deck, and then you infected everyone but me with your fucking Nergigante deck. Yeah, everybody is using Nergigante now. <laughs> and everyone it's my fault. Absolutely everyone. Chase and me were the last two people, and then Chase eventually succumbed to it, because everyone Chase has like, fallen as well, yes. Everyone was like, easy A deck. <laughs> it was like the easiest thing in the world. And it's just yeah. <laughs> it's Nergigante is really strong, like excessively so. I, I can't think of any other way to say it. He's he is the best character right now. I think. Yeah, I think it's, it's just um, too good. It, if there's ever a specific character that I am afraid to run into, it is Nergigante, and it is Ryu. If there's any character that I'm not afraid to run into, it is Raphalos, and it is a very specific Mega Man. It's the one that isn't um, HP gives attack or Veil. It's the very base set Mega Man that all he does is make your HP bigger. I can deal with that pretty easy. Uh, it's everything else where it's like, anything that's based around the fact that you can either kill my dudes very quickly <laughs> is where I start to... <laughs> yeah, um, and, uh, it's, it's a really fun game, and it's got a fantastic art style as well. It's got, like, the weirdest, like... It, 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 I, you never see it unless you're playing Raphalos and you're either fighting an extremely weak opponent or you're playing the AI. But Raffalo, the Raphalos windscreen is maybe the cutest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> because uh, I don't know what the Raphalos windscreen is. Is it just when he's flapping? Is he he's, just flapping he, his little wings? He, he flaps his wings upwards, but then his face goes like, hey. <laughs> like he has like <laughs> the biggest dumbass smile. We might have to do like a Raphalos mirror just so you can see this fucking windscreen because it is the fucking funniest thing ever. I do like that. I like I like me some Rathalos. He's a good yeah. boy. Uh, and then the the there's also story here, which is really funny because everyone's going to like this land of illusion. Everyone's being tricked into going into the land of illusion, except for the monster hunter uh, characters of Nergigante and Rathalos, who are just like, I'm going to the land of illusions because <laughs> it seems like yeah, a I'm cool. going here now. <laughs> 
Yeah. I think it's funny too that they were like, "Oh, Street Fighter characters and Devil May Cry," and then they're like, "We don't have. You can't just put like Monster Hunters in." So I guess we're just gonna make it. Serious. <laughs> yeah. And then it's really funny because then you get like scenes of like Wesker going like he needed to find something, and then a fucking Nergigante shows up out of nowhere. It starts fighting him. It's great. I love it. Yeah. It's also the one test case I've ever been like of like, fuck, they should just make a Capcom versus Capcom fighting game because I would have loved it if there was a Wesker fighting a giant ass Nergigante. Capcom versus Capcom fighting game with Monster Hunter monsters in it. Yeah, 100%. Just like these huge ass characters, the huge Raffalos. Uh, you can put in the 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 great Jaggy, so his giant ass jowl can be in there. <laughs> uh, I would play that. I would, but yeah, the the other thing is he's a, a really good card in this game. He is. Um, the card art is also fantastic in this. I pointed this out on Twitter, which I thought was really nice. So there's a card that specifically references uh, Sagat getting the scar, and he gets this. He gets his scar in Street Fighter One. And Street Fighter 1 has Ryu in red hair, and it doesn't make any sense because the next game he's in brown hair. But for the specific card art, he's in his old Street Fighter 1 getup. Yeah, he is! I didn't even realize, I just realized you're right. He totally is. Yeah, and That's Sagat, great. Yeah, Sagat has like his purple-ass pants. Like the, It's something that you would never notice because for a while I was like looking like, who the hell is punching Sagat in this picture? And I was like, oh shit, that's Ryu. <laughs> that's old Ryu. Old school Ryu, baby. So if they're, they're the the references to everything is great like uh like there's Mega Man X but the the one Mega Man character that they've actually kept in that's not from the X universe is the fucking um the little welder head guys what are they called the oh, shit I don't know their names you know who I'm talking about it's the first guy you that shows up in the guts man stage it's the little tiny like uh hard hat working guys they're in there and I love the fact that they're in there. There's a lot of good representation for all the series currently out there. You got Vile. You have, like, not only are there character, like, avatars, but then also you can use them in card form. So yep. I can't wait to see what stuff gets added next. Also, there's a weird, like, I ended up getting it. I'm not sure if it's the greatest deal in the world. I did get the season pass just because I was playing so much. I, I was think like, the season pass is pretty good um, if you... Everything in the season pass, you will um, to buy the next one. Oh, okay. So it's similar to, I think the Fortnite season pass is similar, where if you just play a lot, you get the ability to, like, uh, if you play a lot in that season pass, you get enough stuff, materials to buy the next season pass, and then you can continue going onwards like that. Yeah, basically. It's a very, it's very interesting to see that get into, like, a card game. Because you always think of card games of, like, the only thing they really offer is packs. Yeah. <laughs> and nothing else. And even the pack system, I want to say in here, is pretty generous so far. Because, like, yeah, no, they, it's not bad at all. No, compared to a lot of other, um... I think the closest I can think of is Magic is extremely, um... It's funny because Magic has a very forgiving, like, system. But it's only because it's Magic and they know how fucked it is to actually play Magic. <laughs> so, but it's comparable on that level and it's not uh, and, and because it's a brand new fresh uh st starting out card game you don't have to worry about whole like uh like when the new pack gets released you won't have to be playing catch up because you're starting from the beginning you're starting at base zero is what i'm trying to say here yeah basically but yeah teppin god it, it's it's literally mm -hmm. consumed everything i it showed up out oh, of nowhere good. too <laughs> Like I I I was not joking when I said uh, I currently have still not logged into Legends because every time I look at the screen I go time to t play some Teppin before I get to play work. A little Teppin, yeah, I'm the exact same way. I literally don't give a shit about anything but Teppin right now. Yeah, you can't I, make you I give a shit about anything but Teppin. I didn't even know that uh, Pitter Patter Pop had added the the new Darby event, <laughs> so it was like i had logged in to do like the the basic missions for the darby stuff and i was like wait there's a fucking new they had... when did this get released <laughs> yeah i have i honestly i haven't even really been playing the darby event yet yeah it's um 
it's a crazy how it literally like it grabbed a firm hold. It felt like I was like the only thing that's been able to keep me away is because the uh, fake Grand Order stuff. And that's only because it's currently in a limited time. Like right now, fuckers, this isn't going <laughs> to show up for another two months or so. <laughs> So, but, but it's been a lot of that, and it's been a lot of Teppin, and it's been uh, great to see it go in. I'm really interested to see where it goes from here. I definitely feel like there's some uh, in the next. It's it's. I'm not in a place where now where I'm like, oh, this this character needs to get buffed. It's more like they just need cards because like the main thing yeah. that some characters suffer from is not having a lot of board pressure. Like, um, I think Mega Man X. If you are not running his third or second ability suffers from that because like it's cool that you have like a 30 health dude but then wesker can kill him in one shot <laughs> so it doesn't yeah, matter. yeah yeah it doesn't really matter at all i think uh i think the only character that's too strong right now is nergigante yeah and it's because he's running like a pure suicide like i'm super oh, so strong good. so get ready to get killed i think the only character that might be not good enough is uh Rathalos. Yeah, poor Rathalos. He has, again, he has one of the greatest windscreens in the game, but also he's just very like not. He's not good. The one Rathalos he's deck very fair, but like all the other decks don't want to fight you. Like Rathalos is all about buffing the shit out of your stats and just going in, and yeah. no other deck wants to do that. Yeah, they, they don't want to fight fair, so he just gets bodied. Yeah, the only time I've ever seen a Rathalos deck um, come close to beating me is the one that gives your dude flight. Because then I didn't realize that this 14 attack thing was attacking me directly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. So then it became like, oh, this would be very unfortunate if he was like super fast, but he's not. So I'm just going to quickly kill this thing before I get completely fucked over. But yeah, Raphlos, I feel, is the one that like he ever needs. Um, he needs something. I'd like there needs to be like a new card or something to come out for him to be better. But until then, I guess like I'll just keep on trying to move forward trying to go up there it's a lot of fun and you should check it out and look forward to some videos that me and zen will be doing because it i've been looking for a new pvp thing ever since legends completely shit the bed <laughs> in terms of being fun to yeah, play yeah big rip on that <laughs> that front is uh it happens but to keep it positive get out there play some teppin Go watch Zen's video on Teppin where he loses. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> then watch my video where I I'm lose a... one and then I get a perfect in the next match. All right, that's not fair. All right, fine. He, he does a pretty good showing, I should say. <laughs> Zen does pretty okay <laughs> by getting a perfect right after. Uh, so, yeah, that's all we got. It's a very quick, as I said, uh, Ilio Game and Chop Shop, but that's also because we're about to actually just play it and you're going to see what it's like so look forward to that video zen why don't you take us out uh thank you for watching the illegal gaming chop shop where we talk non-stop shop about the cream of the gaming crop i got it one try Woo! one of the greatest all right things. i love how we have completely 100 percent figured out the intro and outro we just need to play more games yeah we just need to play more video games so that we can fucking talk about them exactly thank you everyone and goodbye